Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? Hi. <laughs> I'm Madison Bush, and this is my Wired Autocomplete interview. My neighbors hearing me are like, no, it's not. So if you don't know about the Wired Autocomplete interviews, it's basically um, celebrities get interviewed and they ask them questions about themselves or they interview someone who is a genius on a certain subject. And I'm neither one of those things. Like I'm not a celebrity and I'm not an expert at one thing, but I do know like random things about random things. I'm not gonna answer questions about myself because I Googled myself for the first time in a very long time. And I remembered why it had been a very long time when I Googled myself because it scared me and made me really existential and anxious. So, so I didn't really explain it too well, but these are gonna be like the top Google searches with these words. Does that make sense? These are like actual top Google searches for these things. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. It doesn't make, it still doesn't make sense, but like, we'll make it make sense. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna get super random, so random. That's so, that's so Raven random. Let's just get into it. Cause I don't remember what has been written on these boards because I did it a total of like 24 hours ago, so how am I supposed to remember something that happened 24 hours ago? Okay, why? Just why? Why? Why is the sky blue, uh, the carbon dioxide mixed with... Now this is gonna make me look dumb because of the gases mixing together is what I'm gonna assume. Oh, these are not Dollar Tree little bookmarks. Why is Fortnite not working? I really could not tell you. I have only played Fortnite a handful of times and most of those were on my phone and the other times I was super embarrassed because I didn't know how to play and then I stopped. Why is Fortnite down? There are too many of y'all on there, I guess. I don't know. Just like turn it off and restart it. I think it should be good. Well, I cut my fingernails to nubs, so here we go, we'll feel it. Why are Fortnite servers down? Maybe turn it off for about 30 seconds and then restart it. And if not, then maybe speak to your parents and they may have turned it off without telling you because you're on Fortnite too much and you're Googling it somehow. Why am I so tired? Oof, this is, this is me Googling this. Honestly, not enough sleep. Maybe you should try coffee, caffeine, could start that addiction, it would be, would be awesome. Um, but why am I so tired? This is not ways to fix it. Why are you so tired? Really, I don't know. Like, I've been tired recently and I found out that it was PMS related. So, that could be it. Why is my eye twitching? Could be too much caffeine that's happened to me. Stress. You may want to get that checked. WebMD says, WebMD, WebMD be like, why do cats purr? I love cat, I was gonna say I love cats that purr. I'm pretty sure every single cat purrs. I don't know why. And like, why do we have to know why? Because it's one of the most amazing phenomena to ever happen. It's so sweet and comforting and beautiful. And I just want a cat. That almost sliced my eye. Why are you, oh. How are you in Spanish? Como estas? How are you doing? I'm doing 
okay. I've been doing better the past few days. I get so overwhelmed sometimes that I'll like freeze and I won't do anything. And that's when it gets scary, but you have to push yourself out of that. And that got a little bit too deep for my Night King. How are babies made? Why is TikTok bad? There are bad sides to a lot of things. Why is TikTok so popular? Because it's addicting. Why is TikTok so addictive? Because it's hitting you with a serotonin, is that the word, boost in your head every five seconds. And then if you're not on it and you don't get that hit of dope, I use it dopamine. Everything feels super boring and slow when it's just reality. At least that's my experience. It is addictive. Why is TikTok bad for kids? Ooh, that's tough. I don't personally have any kids, so I can't really say anything, but you really don't know what's gonna pop up next on TikTok. And that can be kind of scary as a parent, like letting your kid go, like just watching TikToks if you're not like supervising them. Cause it could literally be anything that pops up on TikTok for you page. Like it could be anything, especially if you just make a new account and you haven't like gotten into the algorithm because like with my TikTok, like I, I don't know what's coming up, but like I kind of know what's coming up. Like now it's like Evan Peters edits. It's like Emily Mariko. It's like organizing videos. Grooms crying at their, at their brides walking down the aisle, even though I skip those and don't want to see them, but then they just keep popping up. Oh God. Um, why is TikTok not showing my videos because they're bad because you're untalented no i'm just kidding um i ask myself this every day and then a random video that i post will get a lot more views that took me like actually 30 seconds to film that i like didn't even want to post in the first place that's usually how it happens and then the ones that i'm like this is gonna this is it this is this is the breaking this is gonna make me break through into true tiktok stardom and it's like mm -mm. no why are tiktokers so annoying it's just with people in general like some are gonna be annoying some are not you know why are tiktokers so cringe cringe well like i guess i guess like the is what they're saying is cringe, but they're at the Met Gala. So I can't really say anything. Why are TikTokers shaving their teeth? I was not on this side of TikTok. Um, I did see one TikToker like get veneers and everyone was making fun of it, but I don't think that's what this is. <laughs> If that was a trend, then just don't. Why are TikTokers wearing orange clothes? Are they in jail? I don't know. There are like prison TikToks, so you may be on prison talk. Why are TikTokers becoming singers? I think this is my serious answer. I think TikTokers and YouTubers become singers because they are told that they are good at everything they do and try. And so they just assume that they're gonna be good at singing, even if they don't have to put much work into it. They're going to get views and people are going to see it. And they, they put that with it being good when it may not necessarily be good. But I think there are actually some TikTok singers that are good. Why was One Direction? Of course it's in past tense. We won't talk about that. Why was One D, I shortened it to One D because One Direction is a lot of letters. Why was One D so popular? Because they were cute, they were British. Why was One Direction booed at the VMAs? People have just always hated on One Direction. It was kind of similar to the Justin Bieber thing where people would make fun of people for liking Justin Bieber, but they like won an award and people were booing them. I don't know who they were up against, but 
I do remember seeing the clip of Lady Gaga and she was she's always been a directioner. Gaga has always been a directioner and we love her for that. And she got so many more fans because of that, I'm sure. They were booing them and Lady Gaga, she's sitting in her seat and she's like, do I hear what I think I hear? Then after she walks up to them backstage and she's like, if I heard what I think I heard, then that's like not okay or something. And I was like, queen of all over there. And then they took a picture with her. Do I know why they were booed? No, people are just cringe as we know. Why was the 2013 VMAs audience cringe? Like that should be the top Google search of all time. Why was Wendy formed? But they were formed because they wanted a cute little boy band and they it was literally just pictures of random boys and they just put them together. And that's how, that's how we know that miracles are real. Why was 1D on iCarly? I'm sure they were forced on iCarly, but we were eating it up. We loved it. They need their Oscars. And that's where the Oscar train starts on iCarly. Why was 1D? Wendy's album called Four. It was quite literally their fourth album. Why did Wendy fall apart? Oof. Why did Wendy break up? Because. Uh, that's what I ask myself every single day. Why did Wendy never win a Grammy? You tell me. You literally tell me. The Academy. Why did 1D write Diana? Diana was one of, a song off of Midnight Memories. They're like, I know you think that I'm saving you, but you saved me. So it's like a lot of fans thought it was about us. And like, we really thought everything they did was about us. And like, it may have been, but like, we really don't know. So Diana, it's a great song. I have so many of these. This is gonna be like a 48 minute long video. What is October 3rd? It's National Mean Girls Day. What time is it? It's 8.40 p.m. and I'm sweating. Why, this is what I don't get. Why have so many people Googled what time is it? If you're Googling what time it is, you are Googling it on a device that has the time on it. If you're Googling it on your phone, just look up in the corner somewhere. 8.43. If you're Googling it on a computer, there's a time. So, I don't know what's happening there. So. What national? Today is it today yes i've noticed this especially in the past like few years like every single day national donut day national boyfriend day national take your dog to petco day national t-shirt day national foot fungus day like i don't know why there are so many national days and it's honestly exhausting so i really don't pay attention to it at all unless it's something where you like get something free what we do in the shadows that's a show i think i don't know like what we do in the shadows what do we do in the shadows we sleep in the shadows oh. we stand there if it's really hot and it's a tad bit cooler what does SMH mean? Shaking my head means I'm disapproving of this. What does POV mean? Point of view. I'm a big POV girl. I don't say SMH out loud, but POV, I say POV, POV, POV. POV. You're sitting in your kitchen, reading off of note cards in your apartment after you went to Taco Bell. POV. What does SOS mean? That's kind of scary that people don't know what SOS means. 
what if what if you like you're like flying in, in like a helicopter or something you're like going on and like oh my god it's like a helicopter ride like in the alps or something and then you see a giant sos written in in the grass and it's on fire and you're like whoa like they did that for us and your initials happen to be sos you are Susie olsen salamander and you're like they put my initials in this grass that's so cool guys but you don't mention it to anyone because you don't want to like seem like you're like self-obsessed and then you keep going and then later you're like wait <laughs> that was me just being self-obsessed and then you type in what does sos mean then you find out that it is a cry for help And you're like, well, SOS. What does Morgan Wallen sing? Couldn't tell you. I honestly couldn't tell you one song that this man sings. Last one. And as you can see, I ran out of blue. Where's my refund? Ooh. Where's Wally? I couldn't tell you, he is going all over the place. He's all over the place. Like one day he's on the beach, one day he's chilling on the subway in New York. We don't know. He's omnipresent. <laughs> Where's Wally? Where's my iPhone? Why does it smell like cologne in here? Can you just Google? Can you just Google where's my iPhone and it like shows you? Where's the beef? Where's the nearest Starbucks? Damn. I'm sure there is one within like five miles of you. So I hope you found it. I hope you found what you were looking for. Where's the nearest McDonald's? Oh, there is probably one of those within two miles of you. That's probably nearer than the Starbucks. So they were like, they searched up where's the nearest Starbucks and they were like, that's a bit far. And then they were like, McDonald's has good coffee. So I type in where is the nearest McDonald's. Where is the nearest Walmart? There are lots of Walmarts, so I'm sure you found one. Or as I like to call it, Walmart. Because that's the funniest joke. So that was all for my wired autocomplete interview. <laughs> People are just curious. Humans are just curious. Please invite me wired when there are enough Google questions about me that are not concerning. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.